There's a story about Lee Iacocca when he took over Chrysler. He wanted to see immediate change, and he knew the best way to do that was to track progress and celebrate success. So from the part-time janitors all the way up to the top most highest levels in management, everyone created a personal mission statement and he felt it was important that those mission statements tied into the success of the organization because he wanted everyone to have a common vision. If you have someone working for you that has a different set of values and a different set of goals, it's going to be very hard for this per the person that you're working with to see the vision and to work toward the common vision that you have in place. So as you're hiring people, ask them, what their mission statement is. And as you're applying for a job, look at a company's mission statement and know that during an interview, you can show them a copy of your personal mission statement and demonstrate how your goals tie into the corporate goals that are set for the company. In the sample that we're going to look at here, we're going to see how the various levels of goal tie into the mission statement overall. One of the items on my list was that I will be fiscally responsible. So the first step is to set up your long-term goals. What is it that you want to do five or more years out that is important to you, that you're willing to dedicate time and resources to? In this case, the selection is to buy a house in five years. You'll notice this goal is in smart format. It's measurable, timely. I can identify if I've been successful. But how am I going to get there? I'm going to use midterm goals, so goals that take between one and five years that help me reach that long-term goal. And in this case, I have three midterm goals. Number one, graduate with my associate's degree and get a job paying at least $35,000 per year. The second midterm goal is save $12,000 for a down payment and closing costs. And third, pay off credit card debt of $2,000. So if I accomplish all of those items, I should be able to purchase a house because those are the have-to tasks that need to take place for buying a house to be possible. Once I've established my midterm goals, I need to break those goals into smaller steps. And that's where short-term goals come into play. So using save $12,000 for a down payment and closing costs, keeping in mind that that is measurable, it needs to be done within one to five years for that $12,000. It's measurable because the quantity of 12,000 is listed and the purpose is listed the short-term goals I'm going to use in order to save that $12,000 will be completed within a one-year time frame and short-term goals are a year or less. So within one year I'm going to be earning $200 a month mowing lawns and doing general yard care. I'm going to reduce the food budget by, 70, by $75 per month by eating out only twice per month. And the third short-term goal will be to ride to work at least twice a week during sunny weather. If I do each one of those items, then that should allow me to save $12,000, and then it builds up. And if I do all three of the midterm, then once again it takes me to my long-term goal. Going back down, what are the tasks that need to be completed to be able to earn $200 a month mowing lawns and doing general yard care? These become my to-do list items. These are short-term tasks that allow me to get to my short-term goal. In this case, I need to find out what steps need to be taken to start a yard care business in Idaho. I need to order business cards and flyers, and I need to create a Facebook page and encourage friends and family to like it. As my to-do list items get completed, I add more items to it. And ultimately, I get to the point where I'm earning $200 a month mowing lawns and doing general yard care. I'm putting that money into savings. I'm saving money on my food budget. I'm riding to work, so I'm saving money and wear and tear on my vehicle. And before I know it, I've saved my $12,000. I've finished my degree. I've paid off my 
credit card debt, and I'm ready for that next step. So from the to-do list to the short term to the medium to the long term, everything builds on each other. Everything needs to be in a yes-no format. Yes, I was able to reach that measurable item, or no, I did not reach that measurable item. I will be looking for the format in your short, medium, and long-term goals and in your to-do list items that they are something that is measurable and time-bound. So take one of the items from your mission statement and develop a long-term goal related to it. Build in at least three midterm goals that would allow you to reach that long-term goal. Select one of your midterm goals and break it down into short-term goals, things that you need to do in order to meet that midterm goal. Your short-term goals will likely at least be three items, as shown here, and then take one of the short-term goals and break it into a list of to-do items, as shown here. In the end, your assignment will look very similar to what I have here, but the topic will be focused on your goals. I look forward to seeing your results. Please submit them as an attachment.